Marvel, one of the biggest film companies in the world. Now, I'm not a big Marvel movie fan, but I do like to step into their world. I have watched all the movies. I find them very, what's the word we can use? Formulaic. Like when, what's the old description when you get 12 people in a room trying to design a horse? You know, what do you come out with? Um, And I've never really enjoyed them that much. But I do watch them. You know, it's two hours of nonsense on the other side of that you have sony now sony is stuck in a very peculiar position you see they own spider-man and marvel can't use him without sony's permission so sony let marvel use spider-man in return spider-man could make spider-man movies and they were allowed to borrow some of marvel's characters which is a pretty fair deal and to an extent marvel use use spider-man quite well now sony while making spider-man movies on the side have been making this weird universe this it's like a side project but nobody knows where it's going or what it what it's doing what's it for this weird anti-hero we're gonna make loads of villain films it started with venom then you had morbius venom 2 you've got craven coming and then just recently announced you have madam web what where am where are sony actually going with this because it seems to be some kind of build-up it seems to be a build-up towards something what that something is I don't know. Now, you could say, or you might think, are they planning on using Marvel's Spider-Man, i.e. Tom Holland? Are they planning on making a Spider-Man with him, with all these baddies that they've introduced, i.e. your Venom, your Morbius and such forth? It's very confusing what they're doing because on their, on their own, these films make no sense. They're like, you watch it, like, let's for instance say Morbius, I watched it and at the end of it I thought, what was that for? Who was that for? You had the little end bit with the, um, is it the guy from Spider-Man 1, the first Spider-Man movie, um, Michael Keaton, his character, you, you had him at the end in like a um, end sequence, but what did it mean? It mean nothing because nothing ever happened. And then you've got this Craven coming up again. What is he actually for? It's really weird. And then you've got the latest one. Madam Web. Again, I don't know what these movies are for. When it comes to Spider-Man, people want to see Spider-Man. Now, you can not say Venom is a good character and on his own, as of as the films have shown, except, well, the second one was a bit hit and miss. It flew by and at the end of it, I didn't even remember the film. But the first one was actually quite a decent movie and Venom stood on his own two feet as a character. But without Spider-Man, Venom is still missing something it, it, it's like it's like a human walking around without a heart. You, it's impossible to do. And Spider-Man is the centre of all of these people. So to make all these Spider-Man villain movies and not even mention Spider-Man, by the way, in any of them, it's just madness. And I don't know what Sony are doing. Because I personally think this lady, Spider-Lady Web, Madam Web thing, is going to flop harder than a pancake falling on the floor. Watching the trailer, I... I I didn't know what I was watching. What is this? What is this? But Sony is such a confusing company because then on the other hand, you've got the new Ghostbusters coming out and that looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So you tell me, how do you think or what's happening? What do you think is going on? Because to me, it is such a strange, strange, strange thing to do what they're doing. Using all the baddies, all the evil people, but not no mention of Spider-Man. Could they bring one of the other Spider-Men back? I don't think they'll ever use Toby again, but I think they might use Andrew. I think they could make a Spider-Man world round Andrew, and I think it'd work. And on that note, I'd just like to say, Sony could release three Spider-Man movies... One with Tom Holland, one with Andrew Garfield, and one with Tobey Maguire, all at the same time. And I think every single one of them would make over seven million, seven hundred million, all at the same time. You could release them on the same day, same week, same term, and I think they'd all make seven hundred million. Do you think I'm wrong? I don't know. Anyway, on to the next one. See you later. Like, subscribe.